Hello class, my name is Kaylee Fields, and my virtual debate is debate number four on whether or not states should surrender their sovereignty and comply to humanitarian international law. And my side of the debate is that states should surrender their sovereignty and comply to humanitarian international law. A state has the right and obligation to protect its citizens within its borders. International law is a set of rules that all states choose to recognize and are bound by. I believe that states should surrender their sovereignty and comply with humanitarian international law because it is what is best for the betterment of the human race. Humanitarian international law is important for states to follow because it is the basis for what states comply to. International humanitarian law allows for there to be less conflict throughout the world. However, I don't believe all states should give complete sovereignty of their state, but rather they should ensure they are doing everything in their power, more, power for the betterment of the human race. My number one reason for why states should surrender their sovereignty and comply to humanitarian international law is that it is what is best for the betterment of the human race. If states were to surrender their sovereignty and comply with humanitarian international law, they directly influence how the human race will continue to survive in the future. This is because human in humanitarian international law directly looks out for human rights. Therefore, if all states were to comply, then we would see less infringement of human rights. It would allow space for the bigger countries to have to look out for the smaller countries because they depend on them for alliances. After all, all states and the human race are in this together. My, my second reason for why states should surrender their sovereignty and comply to humanitarian international law is because it could be the basis for what states have to comply to. If all states surrendered their sovereignty and complied with international humanitarian law, there would be a foundation of law that all states started on. I believe this would allow all states to remain equal in their conflicts, and it would allow and it would set the basis for corruption as well, in the sense that states would see less corruption because there would be restrictions in place that protect their citizens rather than their government. My third reason is that it would limit conflict throughout the world. If states were to surrender their sovereignty and comply with international humanitarian law, we would see less conflict throughout the world. The reason why we would see less conflict is because all states would agree on issues because, after all, all states are looking out for the betterment of the human race. There would be less conflict because the states would have a foundation to base their law off of which most citizens in the states would agree with because it protects their human rights. If human rights were the number one most important thing to states, then we would see less conflict throughout the world. States should surrender their sovereignty and comply with humanitarian international law because it is what is best for the human race and it will keep the human race alive. If all states were surrendered, well, if all states were to surrender and follow international humanitarian law, we would see less conflict throughout the world. There would be a solid foundation for all states to base their law off of, and it is what is best for the human race. This is better in theory, of course, because states won't be able to surrender all of their sovereignty, and it, we wouldn't want them to because someone within the international humanitarian law may be corrupt. However, this is also why, if surrendering their sovereignty even a little bit ensures that the human rights of their people continue to stay intact, then complying with international humanitarian law shouldn't even be a question. Thank you.